Me, on the other hand, I don't need them. Or instead, I could just use that money towards something else. No matter how small the amount is, they add up really fast. It's okay to just admire things on others and not have every single item in your collection. Buying luxury is not really a smart way of spending money. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you my least worn Hermes items. The first item is this bracelet. This is the CDC 24 bracelet, also known as Collier de Chien 24. For. And this also happens to be the very first item that I bought for my Hermes journey, the very first item that I pre-spent. It's a beautiful bracelet, as you can see. It's very, very edgy. It's actually super comfortable and it really does add to your look. But I wouldn't say that I reach for it very, very often. And these are just very generic terms to describe it because I can say a lot of things are casual, but they can still be very wearable and easily incorporated into any outfits. And so it's more than just casual. It's a very, very specific look. And don't get me wrong, it's really nice. So let me just put it on. To be fair to this item in question, in terms of the actual review of the item itself, it's a beautiful, beautiful bracelet. Like, don't get me wrong. It's gorgeous and it's like you see it's very like punk <laughs> and so it doesn't always go with my outfits it goes with a lot of different casual very cool sort of like almost more simple outfits like t-shirt jeans and then if you're wearing a black bag but the black bag has to be a bit more grungy and edgy as well it cannot be your Kelly, I mean, you can, but it's it does it cannot be a more feminine look, in my opinion. It's just too strong. So I don't end up wearing it a whole lot, which means that it's one of my worst purchases because I could totally do without it and use that money towards something else. And this is something that I really truly believe in now and that I would love to preach is that no matter how inexpensive anything is, small amounts adding up quickly, I truly believe in that so if I hadn't bought this as well as many of the other things I'm about to share with you that could equal a bag already and that's just how things are sometimes these luxury items no matter how small the amount is they add up really fast and you buy 10 of those it's equal a quarter bag if you think about it it's insane right anyway if you have one of these don't take offense, I have it. So I just don't think that for me, it's the best purchase. And if you like it anyway and you wanna buy it, go ahead. But I would refrain from buying too many because unless this is already your style and this is just the, the type of things that you wear every day, I would just maybe buy one just to have one in the collection. One thing is for sure, what I'm about to share with you are not things that I regret at all because I use them constantly thank you to mom silk for sponsoring this part of the video this is where i'm gonna share with you a few products that i cannot stop raving about because these are just things that i use every single day silk is part of my life in every aspect possible and of course we spend most of our lives sleeping i suggest that you start with their pillowcases i want to slowly revamp everything to be light colored again i used to love dark color anyway i went with this beautiful pure white 22 mom silk queen size pillowcase this one has the zipper you spend a third of your life sleeping if you think about it so how important it is to get really comfortable silk beddings and pajamas which is what i'm wearing right now this is a beautiful lavender color pajamas that i chose not only do i wear them at home but i always travel with silk pajamas because they are so thin it's so easy to fold them and compact they're so lightweight so they transport so easily it won't take up all the luggage space but not only that they're just the most luxurious fabric that you can put on yourself you're gonna like wonder why you didn't start earlier like cotton is great and i love cotton maybe for my underwear but in terms of actual clothing silk is just way superior 
and once you're there you will never go back oh my gosh guys i'm so excited for this one this is a king size bed sheet just to show you the label they have the highest standards in terms of how they produce their products environmentally responsible and yes i got in king size because I do have a king size bed and this is just their flat sheet just thick enough to provide a beautiful durable drape 22 is literally one of my favorite thickness for silk and their 22 mom silk I mean look at the shine <laughs> it's gorgeous I cannot wait to put this on my bed another way to experience silk without breaking the bank at all you cannot go wrong with some scrunchies so add this to your cart. I'll have all the items linked down below. You can use my coupon code AMY15 to save 15% at checkout. And the holidays are coming, guys. If you want to buy your loved ones, your girlfriend, your mother, your grandmother, the most beautiful and usable gift, practical gift that they can get, get them a set of PJs or a set of pillowcases because they don't break the bank and they're absolutely the most comfortable things that you can ever put yourself, your body in. I'm wearing size small right now. I used to get them in extra small, but I did find that the pants are a little bit short when I get them in extra small. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a regret, but this was definitely more of an impulse purchase or maybe a FOMO purchase because as you all know, I got this in Hawaii. I never even thought about getting one, let alone get offered one, but this was in such a beautiful combination that I couldn't resist because, I mean, look at the combination. <laughs> so yes, this is in the Lizard Skin in Gris Tourterelle Rose Gold Hardware. By the way, I have my entire Hermes collection, the handbag collection video that everyone has been asking me for. I will have it linked up here. It's posted already, so go check it out. This is one of my least worn items. Is it a lot of what money wasted? In a sense, yes it is because as you know, exotic, full exotic is a lot more expensive than the regular leathers, even though it's less of a basic piece because I don't know. I don't know why people even call things basic because these are not basic. Doesn't matter if it's just an Epsom, it's still not basic, but I guess in lizard or in any exotic skin, they are definitely more high end and more rare, uh, less common. So, in a way, I got sucked into that. Why would you take it like that? Sort of like what I was thinking at the time. And you cannot disagree that it looks absolutely stunning as well. So that the beauty of this item really kind of just made me fall in love at the moment and made me buy it. But it was very, very expensive. The Canadian exchange has been terrible for us Canadians because the US dollars has been so strong. So that compounded with the fact that it's so much more expensive and exotic made this item less worth it than I would have liked it to be because I don't wear it a lot and yes I'm trying to find different ways to make use of it uh, not only can you wear it as a belt bag but you can also try to convert it into a little nano bag but it still is quite limited, right? Because how often am I actually wearing a nano mag these days? Generally speaking, I would say if this was in, in a regular leather, I don't know if I would have taken it because maybe I wouldn't be sucked into the combination. But at the same time, I might still have taken it because getting any sort of leather offers at Hermes, especially at the time during the pandemic when it was so hard, um, is in itself like making enough FOMO for you to want to say yes. So uh, lesson learned is that no matter how special, rare, unique that item is, if you don't think that you can make a ton of use out of it just because you just don't have that kind of lifestyle or you don't dress that way in particular, maybe just don't get it. It's okay to just admire things on others and not have every single item in your collection. <laughs> Let's move on to these shoes, shall we? I mean, they look practically new because they are very, very, very least worn in my entire collection of Hermes shoes. Is it because these are so uncomfortable, so unbearable? No, they're not technically. The leather on these is absolutely buttery. I am usually a 37 and a half across the board in Chanel, in Hermes, 
and I already sized up for these half a size. I already took it in a 38 and still they pinch my toes. So I guess the shoe is made in a way that is quite thin at the toe box and I need a bit more room for my big toe. I wish that I went a full size up because I feel like that's just the only thing missing. It has nothing to do with the shoe itself, the style, the comfort, the material, the leather, everything is perfect. I can only wear them maybe like an hour at a time until they start hurting me. So in a sense, I'm not getting my money's worth. I don't want to reach for them because they're uncomfortable to me. And that that is a lot of wasted money. I'd rather pay good money for these shoes in the right size and just wear the heck out of them. Lesson learned is to really, really take the time instead of just rushing and wanting to just buy it and and be like oh yes yeah, it's, it's probably fine like i already have half sized up um maybe i should have been more honest with myself and be like you know what it's okay to say that doesn't fit and to see if they still have even more of a size up and if it's not there instead of just rushing to buy it just wait for it wait for the right size or just don't buy it at all if it's not gonna fit. Some shoe styles just won't fit your feet no matter how many times you try them, no matter how many sizes you try. Um, instead of compromising, instead of trying to make them work, just don't buy them. I think that's the lesson learned in these shoes. Next, I'm gonna talk about some ready to wear. This is very painful for me because you guys know I love my clothes. I am just a fashionista through and through. I started loving clothes before I started loving handbags and shoes. Clothes for me was the absolute thing that I just played with since I was a teenager. And so when I get clothes that just I don't reach for, I feel incredibly guilty for spending that kind of money and not reaching for them. There are two main pieces that I want to show you and I think this is a good summary of all the items put together because I've kind of talked about each of these items in separate videos but now you're getting all in one video. So I mentioned about the fleece. This is their equestrian line warm-up fleece. So the sleeves themselves are not lined uh, but the body has this beautiful, so soft, buttery fleece that is so luxurious and comfortable. And overall, the, the material itself, even on the outside, also feels comfortable. But the thing with this fleece, just like the shoes, is the cutting. The cutting just doesn't suit me at all. I think it's made for someone with a very long torso or just is very tall. I got it in size small. Actually, maybe it would have been better if I got it in a bigger size so that it's a bit oversized, but at least it won't scrunch up at my hips because right now, essentially, this part right here, the bottom, is right at the middle of my bum. And it's literally the tightest part of this whole jacket, which makes absolutely no sense unless you're super tall. So unless this lands more at your waist. Another piece of ready to wear that I just absolutely don't wear. And every time I were to reach for it, it just doesn't work. There's something about the style of this and maybe the material too, because these pants are made of wool and they are a very, very high waisted pants. However, they are also kind of flowy and cropped at the same time. The fact that they are also this wool material makes them so casual. I feel like this should be lounge wear. It should be something that I wear at home lounging around. And the thing is, I don't really lounge in wool. I already told you guys, I lounge in silk. It's not that I can't treat this as loungewear either. I can just to make more use out of it. But I just don't love wearing wool at home. Like wool for me is, I'm trying to feel cozy, but I need to go out and therefore maybe silk is too light for minus however degrees. And so wool is sort of like the answer. I'm just gonna tell you guys, don't buy, don't buy. <laughs> don't buy any, any brands 
wool pants like this kind of wool the knitted pants unless you are specifically going for that type of loungewear because it, they are nothing but loungewear pants should not be in a knitted wool that's all i'm gonna say because they just don't work another wool item that i'm gonna show you are these teddy sheep sandals I also got sucked into the fact that I'm such a big fan of the sheep sandals myself that I thought I need to have them in every combination possible. Not only did I already have four different color leathers, I have the black, the white, the beige, and the brown. So I have all the neutrals that I can possibly get to match possibly every outfit. But I also needed the teddy version with the beautiful lamb's wool. Why? Because I just wanted to have all the combinations so that I can style the most ridiculous airplane outfit possible as well. I can visualize that look. I totally can. But realistically speaking, I don't have that lifestyle. I think if I was Tamara, yes, she's a jet setter. She's constantly traveling. She needs those shoes to not only look cool on the plane, off the plane, and wherever she wears it to, but she also needs to feel warm and comfortable. And they provide that. Me, on the other hand, I don't need them. I thought I did. I Well, I like the idea of owning them, but practically speaking, I have nowhere to wear them to. So I've only worn them to take pictures. And that is so silly because you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on something just to take pictures with. That's just ridiculous. That's not a smart way of spending the money. And so I totally regret buying them. I just put them back in their boxes and I'm waiting for whoever needs these sandals to be rehomed because I, Amy, fashionably Amy, does not need teddy sandals. This is my custom made watch with Hermes. And don't get me wrong. Actually, am I showing the right way? Yes, I am. Don't get me wrong, guys. This is an absolutely gorgeous and simple watch. Very elegant. Very much my style. I custom made mine with the Mother of Pearl with diamonds. They didn't have too many choices, to be honest, uh, during the customization. I don't technically regret this purchase because... It is beautiful and it actually really suits me for my style and how like how delicate it looks. I think it's um, it, it absolutely is up my alley. That's what I'm trying to say. So unlike this bracelet, for example, right? Like if I put my bracelet side by side, they just don't. They just these are just not really my style. However, there are times that I kind of, you know, wear a simple T-shirt and a pair of shorts. And I put this on, it's cute. But I think generally speaking, my style is more, more dressy. But did I really need to make a custom watch and pay more money than buying their regular watch? No. I think that's my point. My point is that although the experience of making a custom watch kind of, you know, it's a unique experience. It's kind of fun. I also have my name engraved on it. So... It is a unique piece. No one has the exact same watch as me in, in a sense that they don't have the same engraving either. But is that really worth the extra money, I suppose? Like if you're trying to be the most smart about your finances, even though buying luxury is not really a smart way of spending money, you do you, you live your life. And I'm okay with spending part of my money on luxury as well. So I'm not justifying, but I think I have to sometimes just as a disclaimer, people just judge you so automatically they still will judge you anyway but my point is um i could have just also bought a regular watch uh without the mother of pearl without the diamonds and it still will achieve the same look because honestly speaking i don't really wear watches often either if i'm gonna wear a watch to be more fancy and dressy it's for a special occasion anyway so do i need it to be exactly this mother of pearl option no it doesn't have to be it can just be their regular dial it's all relative it's if, if it's important to you then it is for me watches are not so important i honestly would rather have bought more of their 
jewelry like i would rather spend the money i spent on this on a piece of really beautiful fine jewelry that hermes has even though they're very overpriced everything is overpriced yes but even though they are overpriced i wear jewelry like this piece right here this piece right here all of the pieces that i wear i wear them so much i already know that it's worth it watches on the other hand because i don't reach for them all the time if even once a month not so much so i think yeah i think my point is if i were to get a watch maybe i didn't have to get the most expensive option this is not the most expensive one but it's a more expensive one that i need, didn't need to buy and instead or instead i could just use that money towards something else like, i guess i'm making this video to help whoever's watching to maybe avoid the same mistakes it's impossible to avoid all of them because sometimes you just don't know until you try and sometimes you try something new and it turns out to be the best thing you've ever done because you can't live without it now but sometimes you try and you think that it will work out but it actually doesn't so those were all the items that i feel like i made bad purchase decisions or wasted my money also share with me in the comments some of your worst purchases and the reasons why because everyone's reasons are different so let's continue this discussion in the comments below let's help everyone out i'll link my entire hermes bag collection here and also my best hermes purchases here and so have a watch have a great day and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye